this painting. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Really... Guys, this might be one of the most haunted paintings in the world. Guys, have you ever heard of The Hands Resist Him? No. No. Oh. Sounds what? like a great indie album, though. <laughs> it does. So this this painting actually is considered by many to be one of the most haunted paintings in modern history. Um it was originally painted by the artist Bill Stoneham. To give you a little background on Bill Stoneham, he was born in 1947. He is still alive. He's 71 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is a oil painting surrealist, and he painted originally this painting in 1972. <laughs> to describe what's in the picture, basically there is a, uh, a a glass door and a child standing next to a doll that is almost as tall as the the mm. child is, and in so the background creepy. on the glass door, which it's is like in a French darkness, style door, right? Yes, like- yes, with with uh, uh, broken into sections of glass panes with with uh, woodwork in between. Uh, there are hands outside in the darkness, and there is a, what looks like an eclipsed heavenly body of some sort in the sky above it. Uh, in the doll's hands, there is an empty battery cell with wires coming out of it. Um, this painting is based off of a photograph that was taken of Stoneham when he was five years old and he was living what? in Chicago by his father, his adopted father. Uh, when he was born in 1947, Stoneham was originally given up for adoption and adopted by a family in Chicago. And he said that at the time that the photograph was taken, they were living in his grandmother's house and there was so little room in the apartment that uh, he had to sleep in the closet with all the clothes. And he said he didn't feel like a human. He felt like an article of clothing. Mm. Uh, and this is the, the time you can see this, this sullen expression that the boy has very, very blank, uh, was taken during this time. And, uh, he said that he used to have a playmate who was a little girl, almost his age around the same time. Uh, and in 1972, when he painted this, he was living with his ro- wife, Rohan in, uh, Rohan, Rohan, a uh, Rohan, Ro- Rohan, Rohan, uh, R H O A N N. Rohan. 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 So he was on contract by the Fine Garden Gallery, uh, Charles Fine Garden, the owner, uh, to produce two paintings a month for $200 each. The first time that the painting was shown was in 1974 at Fine Garden's Gallery. And there a, he was doing a showing and it was reviewed by the Los Angeles um, art critic for the Los Angeles Times, Henry Seldes. Uh, and it was actually sold then as well to one actor, John Marley, who was in, uh, notable for the movie, many movies, but probably most memorable in his role in The Godfather, where he played the film producer who wakes up and has the horse's oh, head. Oh, yeah. Right. So he actually what a great, purchased the, the painting. What a great scene. Uh, and it is a little odd. One of the more mysterious facts surrounding this is that the three men's closest to the hands that resist him died. Uh, Seldes, Henry Seldes, the critic, died in 1978. On the night before his birthday, before he turned 53, uh, he committed suicide. Whoa. Now, he had been plagued by mental health problems in, while going through a divorce, and he had tried to commit suicide the previous September by an overdose of pills. But no one really knows what happened that night. Three years later... Charles Feingarten died in 1981. Inexplicably, there is no known cause of death at the age of 60. And just dead. Just dead. Woke up dead or died uh, during the day? Or I just... was not able to find a single shred of information on this. I looked up obituaries, cause of death. Yeah, and... cause of death, it just says deader than hell. It, it <laughs> on said, a scale from 1 to 10, this guy is dead. So <laughs> would, would 60 years old passing away, would that be natural causes? It might be, depending on the lifestyle, but that, but still, you'd think that there would be some sort of cause of death found. Right. Yeah. And then three years later, the actor John Marley passed away uh, in 1984 at the age of 77 after heart surgery. Uh, but he had sold the painting by the time that he had passed. He sold it. So then the, the painting goes missing. And for 26 years, no one's heard of this painting. It eventually is discovered behind an old California brewery or in the basement of California brewery. Different accounts vary on, on this by an elderly couple. And it was later put on the Internet in the early uh, stages of the internet on eBay for sale, uh, and there, there is a sort of the ad for it. Uh, the, the the family that selling it wrote a horror story. I'm quoting here the Daily Dot of a product description that reads like something out of a bad Stephen King knockoff, and this is the quote: When we received this painting, we thought it was really good art. It's in all capitals. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! no. Oh no! Oh, no. At the time, we wondered why a little, we wondered a little why a seemingly perfectly fine painting would be discarded like that. Today, we don't! Exclamation point three times. <laughs> One morning, 
Our four and a half year old daughter claimed that the children in the picture were fighting and coming into the room during the night. Whoa. That's hey. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's so aggressive. This is the claim by the family that the children in the photo, one of whom is a doll, were coming to life and fighting to the point where at one time they say that it is described that the doll girl pulls a gun on the little boy and forces him out of the frame of the picture, crawling down the wall into the room. What? Hey, has someone animated this? Because if not, they really need to get on it. Well, I okay. want to see it. Yeah. So there was a very, very early uh, um, capturing on a webcam. Uh-huh. So you can see still photographs. But it does, It's it, again, in all of these instances, man, daddy. The crappiest camera in the oh, world. Yes. yes, shot vertically. So you can't really tell <laughs> what's going on. Uh, but yes, there is video evidence where a father said that he was watching a monitor that he installed to to verify these claims and could not explain what happened and, and corroborated the story, basically, that these, these characters in this painting had come to life. Wow. Uh, Just how it's, um, you know, the, the rule of thirds where if you vertically or horizontally dissect a painting the action is usually like, like paneled almost it is uncomfortable how all of the action is to the far left of the canvas and then right in the middle from the center of the canvas to the right you just see most of the door and then just the hands in the background yeah. it's really creepy well they they say uh in in art and in visual direction that in western cultures at least that the left is a position of tension because mm. when you're you're naturally programmed to think that when you start reading you start at the beginning of a sentence on the left so your your eye automatically wants to follow to the right mm-hmm. to a place of relaxation uh, but when asked about uh, this painting the artist himself who still is alive uh, he was the bastard he, he, he described that to him it was just a portrayal of Sort of what he said, tapping into the collective unconscious uh, of, of humanity, and that it was representative of him in this dimension. And behind the door was the untapped, the uncollect, or the the collective unconscious. And that I would, I would say he nailed it. The hands yeah. that pressed against the door, they are the quote other lives, uh, and that the glass door. I'm quoting here his own uh, website, Stoneham Studios. That glass door, that thin veil, walking. Between waking and dreaming, the girl doll is the imagined companion or guide through this realm. That's amazing. Yeah. Imagined companion? Mm. Interesting. And this poem, uh, it was titled The Hands Resist Him, and this was inspired by a poem that his wife had written uh, that year. And that is actually where he drew upon, between this poem and the photograph of him as a five-year-old, was how this painting was born. And the poem goes as this. He is of the seeing visions, his strokes reveal them in a rush of color, of madness, of mystics, and his head is the highest center, it must confront its enemy. The hands resist him like the secret of his birth. His presence is the sanctum heartbeat felt in darkness and in passion, its sound the sole gift to that of silence. Ooh, that's, Ooh. yeah, oddly unnerving. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so now, the painting is sold on eBay. The bidding starts at $199. It goes on for 30 days and turns into a bidding war. It is eventually sold for $1,025 to a private art collector who has a gallery. That's in. it. And yes, well, you know, it was, I believe, in the year 2000. So oh, it's, okay. Yeah, inflation. Back when everything was wonderful. Plus, it's, a, <laughs> it's an artist. It's a painting that's been lost to the ages. Right. 26 years, no one has seen it. No one knows who this artist right. really is. Um, after that... Uh, the, with 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 the ad listed on eBay, it sort of gains infinity. Became a internet meme, 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 butter, meme, and the, and the legend sort of expands on and on from there. People say that they would print out photos of it and hang it in their house. That were looking at a computer screen would start to to cause nausea in people, anxiety in people, blackouts. It's loss like that of doll. Memory. When you see yes. photos of the doll, you exactly. Can... It's supposed to have this weird effect on people. Uh, there's accounts of and people... you just showed it to us. Yeah. Thanks, well, buddy. What did you think? I'm getting a headache right now. <laughs> I'm not getting like a weird sinus headache. Are you really? Yeah. Why don't you just lay down? Okay. Just plank right there. Oh, that's not bad. Just laying on my chest on top of this chair is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Among other symptoms, uh, there are reports of people that have been repulsed, made physically ill, and have also described mind control experiences through viewing this painting. How, Ooh, what? 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 Like, like the, the painting is telling me to kill. Or paint. 
<laughs> no, I went straight to kill. It could have been something. Yeah, it could have been something the very painting noble. is telling me to cook biscuits. You should really wash your car. The painting is telling me to create and better myself. Yeah, how come? The, how come voices always tell you to do bad things? There's no like good voices out there, you know. Because whenever you hear a painting say, get up and make something better with your life, you're like, shut up, dad. (laughs) I already have a dad painting. (laughs) You're not my dad painting. Unless it was a painting of your dad. I just hear voices that tell me to eat tacos. We all hear those. So the the painting itself still resides in the ownership of Kim Smith. uh, And it now sits in a private storage locker of hers. Uh, Okay, so locked away. She has been asked to, or he, I'm sorry, it could be he. I'm assuming this person's gender. You assuming I am. gender. Uh, so Kim has been, Smith, let's just, Smith has been asked to show the painting several times over the years, uh, only about five or six times, to private collectors mm. or people who were just interested in it. Uh, okay. Uh, and there has also been an offer in the low six figures to buy the said painting. Kanye. But to this day, it still lives in infamy due to all the death and strange feelings surrounding it as one of the most haunted paintings out there. To buy a piece of art just to keep it away so no one can see it is very responsible of someone, I guess. Yes, sure. Very humanitarian. Yeah. 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 Good looking out. So what I'm saying, guys, is that we should sell this painting. This is a great idea. We need to get rid of this painting as yeah, quickly as let's possible. Get, yeah, let's, let's put it up. So, Where are the buyers? Where uh, are the buyers? And then, and then we need to tell Kim Smith that we sold her painting. <laughs>